Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to today's tutorial. How are you all doing? So, guys, I've seen the thumbnail. Yes, beautiful corset bracelet. So, let's quickly get started. So, because of the color, we'll be stepping in with three inches. We connect straight this way before placing our shoulder lens so connect this with your desired length so now i have to quickly place my shoulder into two is eight inches which is of 16 inches shoulder slope is an half inch connect this way the next thing to do now is to find the arm hole depth should i divide by two and center that's half of the shoulder depth to create my arm hole cover as well go in with an half inch so if you have been following you should know all this by now connect this with your cover so this is for the arm hole the sleeve part so now i have to click place our bust point is 10.5 inches bust under bust 14 waist is 17 and full length Mine we working with 32 inches or we'll have 27 inches here. So connect this way. Easy aim line. So let's be label it as well. The bust point on the bust waistline, the hem uh, line. So guys, the next thing to do now is to find our nipple to nip. That is ball span. It's 4 inches into 2. That is total of 8 inches. We'll connect straight this way to our master row. To the under bust. Now the neck weight, 3 inches. I you can change my marker. <laughs> yes. Neck weight is 3 inches. Neck depth is 2.5 inches. Connect it this way first. Then, introduce the cover to blend the neck depth properly. So, now I have to extend it to the bust point. Because we're placing that. Sorry, my marker is giving me issues there. Eh? So now I have to clip place the uh, round bust measurement first for a better understanding. The waist is uh, 9.5. The hem part is 10, uh, sorry, 11.5 inches. Connect this way first. My, I'll be working with free jacket. But if you are making this, that is exactly what you have on our, our thumbnail, fitted corset bracelet. This I should place it. So this is the uh, button allowance. It's just one inch. Extend the neck depth. The neck depth to this one inch. Because button allowance, we are overlapping each other from the waistline or from the under bust. So for the color, because that to work with two inches, three inches, two point five inches, my is just two inches. Because that to work with one point five inches. So if that to work straight or step up with an half inch as well. This way, if you are stepping up, you connect it this way. If you are working straight, is the dots line. Connect straight to the waist or to the under bust for the color. So place it this way to the waist or to your under bust. Might I be working with the waist line? Okay. So if you are working exactly what you have on your thumbnail, just connect it, go in with two inches at a hemming line. Yes. So guys, see how it's done. So this part is optional. Okay, blend it properly. So first the button allowance, 
label this with a better understanding. The second two inches is the color. So we are to now create our corset by extending this dart line that is in a bust pan. So find our bust radius, place it 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches. So the neck depth is optional as well. So you decide to work with 2 inches from the bust point or 1.5 inches, 1 inch. Of is a corset, yes, half inch. So this dot uh, line you are saying just sorry, guys, the radius. So you connect this to meet the a one inch I step up weight from the bust point as the neck depth. Connect this well, and the dot line you are seeing here, guys, is our bust radius. That is distance from the bus point to your underbust. Connect this way. But the towards the arm hole, like what you are saying here is 4 inches, but both is fuller. So 3.5 inches. Connect it straight. The dust line after have to extend it. For those that are working with just bust here, that is two pieces corset. But mine is three pieces corset. Just extend to the chest, new chest line. So blend this way to that uh, one inch, sorry, 1.5 inches. I will step up weight from the bust point. So if you are working with two pieces corset, just extend your dart line. Let's find the center of our left over shoulder, which is 2.5 inches. We'll connect it straight to the new chest line, which is uh, the bust radius. This way. You can see, guys, it has taken the form already. So straight to the arm hole. You could decide to extend it direct to the arm hole. But mine is this way. So this part also is optional, okay? So because mine is three pieces corset, so it's half inch, half inch from the bust point. Then place our tape this way and half inch here to create our darts. That's a total of one inch. There is well. So we connect this well to meet that and half inch that will step out with from the bust point this way. Connect this way. For my, I used half inch uh, before the bus point and half inch after the bus point. So this is how it should look like if you are working with three pieces corsets. So guys, for two pieces corset is this way. The pencil and marking, place your dart and connect as well. That all the same thing guys. So for our waist uh, dart, I will be working with that of total of one inch. That's an half inch on each piece. We will decide to work with uh, two inches on both. You will decide also to work without that. All depending on your preference. So you connect this way as well, straight to the M line. So you can see how beautiful it looks. So from the bus point, step down if you are working with both three pieces corset or two pieces corset, connect this way. Right now, it's now a uh, three pieces corset. You can see it has taken the form already. So, I have to add the dart replacement. We use total of one inch here, place it back this way to avoid shortage after stitching. So connect this, uh, connect it straight this way first, first. You can see. So this is just the DR, which is that replacement. So the under you can see it's almost the same thing. So that's why I usually blend it straight to the arm hole and to the M line. So this is our DR. 
So guys, for the same allowance, if you want to fit it exactly what you have on the thumbnail, just add 1.5 inches. But my, we're placing two inches because I want it a bit free. But I'll be using lacing and also I'll be creating keyhole at the back. Yes, of mine. So I'm creating a different thing entirely for my bar panel. So it's not that fitted uh, corset eh, bracelet. So this part is optional, okay? So guys, for the uh, the M line, if you are not making your straight, my straight, why you to my fabric going to be straight? I've seen the term already, guys. But for those that be working with a, a short one, you have to blend it properly. If you don't want it, if you want it curvy. Sorry, camera couldn't capture this part. What I did here is to find the mid uh, point or the length of the M line, curve it, step up with just an uh, one inch, curve it this way. That is just what is going on there. So, quickly now, create our keyhole. Yes. Well, first, let's cut out the shoulder. I use and trace the back panel, or rather, let's place it first <laughs> yes place it this way i had to check my camera <laughs> yes so the camera is well placed so guys for the keyhole is one inch or an half inch okay you can see i am placing an half inch here okay to the neck depth this way to so meet the neck depth or direct to the center front. This part is optional, okay? You can decide to blend it like what I did now to the core part, or if you extend it to the center of the front piece, if you do not step in with an half inch. So you can see the little keyhole. I use the word keyhole here, it's just a mini keyhole. So, guys. This is all for the front. So, guys, let's quickly now cut it out. Trace the back panel. Okay, cut it this way. Cut out this part. You can see what I'm doing. Make a notch. Cut it out this way for easy sewing. That is the essence of the notch. So that white uh, stitching, you know, that is an half inch before your bus radius so cut it out this way you can see you can see how it is so this is how it should look like when you are true okay that's taking the form already so for the color is this way to so the m line that is your desired length so if it's the straight one you want, just cut out the color with the dots uh, line. So if it's your bust, uh, sorry, under bust, this way, waist to that part. So you can see how it is. So let's quickly now cut out the arm hole this way. So the, uh, same allowance and to our desired length. You can see the curve I explained earlier, which camera couldn't capture. You can see because I had to leave it straight. So this M line is optional. Okay. So if you want to work exactly what you have on our thumbnail, from your waistline, just go in with two inches or three inches. So this is how this part should look like. Remember, this one inch you are seeing will overlap each other for the button allowance so let's go cut out this part for the cup this way you can see so as i'm cutting direct to my under bust what you're assigned to your fabric could be adding an half inch or round so label it this way as well side uh, uh front or one or part two that is it so cut it so for the dart, you decide to ignore it by sealing it off this way. What I mean is this, you will just place this on your fabric, trace it out without that line. It will just fix your cup. It's the same thing, okay? So I will sell a table this way, you can see. 
So if I'm working, if you're working with this method, there won't be any dart line. You have to now subtract the dart allowance we added earlier. So the core part, cut it out this way. Cut it out this way. I've got these three pieces, uh, core set that I'm uh, working with. It was hard to work with two pieces. I've explained that as well earlier. So, this is it. You can see how beautiful and easy it is. So, guys, this I should look like when you are sure. So, let's move over to our bar panel. So, this is our bar panel. Now, we're we'll placing our shoulder line, which is 8 inches. Step down with an half inch at shoulder slope. Then the neck width three inches. Remember, we use three inches. The neck depth is just one inch. Okay. Eight inches arm um, or depth, which is not divided by two. Shoulder slope connect this with your neck width. Straight to your arm all depth to your chest line, the midpoint to create our arm all curve exactly what we did because I didn't transfer it again for cutting it out, but it's easier when you transfer it okay for cutting it out. So the uh, neck depth connect this one as well, blend it properly. So this eye should look like your arm hole, neck depth. So the next thing to do now is to find our shoulder to our waistline, which is 17 inches. If you are not too sure, introduce your front piece. There's your front panel to find the length of your, uh, from your shoulder to your waist. So you can see it's 17 inches. The M line is 27 inches, but mine is 31 inches. I'll be adding up the length while transferring to the fabric. Connect this way. So for the back panel, we're working with shoulder uh, dots. Okay. So introduce this. Sorry, guys. To find the midpoint can see which is 2.5 inches so on the waistline before placing our nipple to nipple go in with an half inch to have exactly what you have on our thumbnail which is a fitted corset bracelet connect straight this way that means cut out on the center of your back panel. Then connect the nipple to nipple straight this way as well, which is the boss pan. Eight into two, we have four inches here. So on the shoulder line, we'll find the leftover length, which is 2.5 inches. So we'll connect it straight to the neck line, which is 2.5 inches. Can you see? see? It's very simple, guys. So, we have to clean up place our waist dust an half inch, an half inch on the waistline. This is the chest line. Let me just indicate it for a better understanding. Step down with an half inch, though because back is not busty, it's not compulsory, but just blend it this way. Okay? To the M line, while well, the M line will start to make it straight or just connect it this way. So, this is the chest line, this is the waistline, and the M line. So, it's time now to place our round uh, bust uh, measurements 10.5 inches this way. Note we added 2 inches as same allowance while drafting the front panel. 
the waist is 9.5 inches remember the dart will not replace it yet <coughs> excuse me the m line is 11.5 inches you connect this way but before then we have to clearly place our dart replacement one inch plus two inches in my line. that's a total of three inches so we connect straight this way to the m line you can see extend the waistline this way as well so sorry i have to clean change my marker once again so guys now at the hem line what to do exactly what you did find the length then from the side seam, step up with one inch, create a curve, but this is not compulsory. This part is optional as well. So let's quickly now introduce the front panel to cross check if our neck uh, weight and the shoulder that meet with each other. You can see that aligns with each other. You can see how beautiful it is. So, guys. We have to click cut it out this way. Okay. So it's really simple, guys. So I will bring in the part two of this tutorial, which is the stitches. Yes. So cut it out this way. Look at the hemline, what I explained earlier. Step up this way. The half inch that we step in with on the waistline. Cut it out this way. To snatch the waistline so the dart you cut it as well this way sorry the wind is much so these parts that is all So guys, this I should look like. Remember, our pattern is not into fold here, but we're transferring to our fabric to be into fold. Okay. So this is the front uh, piece. You can see why this is the back uh, piece. So it's really simple, guys. And please, if you find this video interesting, like. Okay. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. So this is the way that. If you are not ignoring waste that, if you are working with waste that is why you should cut it out, okay? But if you are not making the video that, just seal it and transfer it direct to your fabric. So this is it. If you decide to work with a uh, uh, drag cup or maybe drag cup, if you are working with that fitted uh, corset, bracelet, just work with a uh, drag cup. Mine is a uh, wedding. So my back, I want to stylish it, as I said earlier, so I'll be creating a queue as well. But this part is optional, okay? I said to make something different. So you can see my chest line, upper chest, that's a bit fast here. So I will step, just creating a keyhole. I'll be using eyelets that's lessened at the back and spray. So this stitch is going to be interesting. Wow, guys. So, so I will cut out this part. You can see how I uh, sew this part. You can see. So this part as well, I will trace it out this way. So this is it. So I will sell it. So, but the one I explained earlier is the back panel of the thumbnail. Yes, but this is what I want, it is mine. So I will sell it this way. Transfer it to my fabric and show you guys. So this is all for this part one. So I'll be bringing the part two of a soon, which is a stitches. So I love you all. If you add 0.5 inch all round. God bless you all. Bye for now.